Inside this car is a 50-year-old man. He's arranged online to meet a 14-year-old girl at this park in Derby. Can't do this. But as he texts to tell her he's arrived, he's confronted by so-called paedophile hunters. The man speeds off, but is later caught. He's Peter Mitchell and pleaded guilty in court to grooming two teenagers online. But the 14-year-olds, Laura and Roxy, didn't attend his sentencing because they don't exist. Mitchell was in fact chatting online to this man, founder of a group he calls the Online Predator Investigation Team. We set up profiles and these guys just come along and they send friends requests. As soon as we accept the messages come along, it's just sexual straight from the off. Within 20 minutes, you could be asked, are you a virgin? Uh, can we meet up for sex? But legal experts say this sort of crime fighting can be dangerous. The so-called vigilante action produces unintended, uncontrolled consequences that are very harmful, not just to the offender, but to the offender's family. Such as what? Such as suicide, loss of evidence, and just loss of public confidence. But in America, this is now entertainment, with this TV show catching the predator. My name is Sweetie. And in Holland, this 10-year-old girl is computer-generated, used to catch men searching for sexual images of children. But only 25 of the UK's 43 police forces have an undercover team online, and some say we need more digital detectives. Let's recruit into police services volunteer citizens. Let's bring special constables onto the online platform, into the online world. Copying this social media superhero isn't recommended, but it seems he's detected a shortfall in online police presence. Sally Lockwood, 5 News.